Hi, I'm Patty Harrison. No one likes you, and I'm Joel Kim Booster. Is that true? And you're watching Unsend, where we celebrate the best and the worst of the web, but mostly the worst. So let's jump right into Unsend. Come on, everybody, the water's fine. <laughs> I'm already damp. You're nasty, watch your volume. Our social media profiles really define and brand who we are and what we want to say to the world. And I gotta say, you and I are really delivering on queer, oh, bodycon, Asian, futuristic, ravishing, demonic, laugh out loud, piss, shit, come squirty, squirty. Yes, today our brand is tight, but was it always? Mm, that's why we're digging into vintage socials and asking the question defend, defend or, or delete. delete. So first, I'd like to just start with this tweet that you shot off in 2015. Sorry, I only do butt stuff with verified. Like, why did you think this was okay? Um, it was 2015. Mm -hmm. uh, I was a different person then. I, I think I have a, a different point of view now. I wasn't verified then. Oh. I didn't know what verified people were like. I made a mistake. I would deeply regret saying that, mm. anything like that. Because I guess like my question is, is like, what did you think verified people were like then? Because you do know that like you can have like 400 followers and write one article for HuffPost Queer Voices and you can get verified these days. You know, it's super easy. I thought verified people were better and I, s I still do. What's, what's going on? <laughs> is your Latisse? you up again? What's yeah. Going on? I can only say I'm really sorry. So you would delete? I would delete. Um, so Joel, we have this first post here. The caption says, it's not delivery. It's the $7 DiGiorno that they put in a microwave for me because we're all trapped on this train and have no other options. Hashtag train life. There's a broader contest here. I was trapped on an Amtrak train from New York to Chicago for 27 hours. And I didn't have any other food options, so I had to buy the food on the train. And so this is a comment on capitalism and train life. Again, it's funny. Joel. It's funny, I'm funny. Joel, I don't think you should delete it. Oh, wow. I agree with you. Thank you. And one thing that you didn't actually talk on that I thought was kind of pretty cool is that you took this, this iconic, slogan from DiGiorno, it's not delivery, it's DiGiorno, and you spun it in this kind of academic way no. where okay. everyone was like reading it and they were like, it's not delivery, they think me. they you're know it's, and look and at listen, this absolute this fire. Is... Okay, this yes. is four it's years the ago. It's the $7, oh my God, and you're, oh my God, Joel. I know what you're doing and I'm, and I'm gonna accept all of that that you just said at face value because I am smart and I'm good and I'm funny and I'm worth it. Death. Mm. Stop. It's my own personal religious belief that dying is so bad. But you know what's the best? Very good? Seeing random celebrities insert themselves into a memorial of the deceased. That is fun. It's very good. So let's take a moment to comb through social media condolences and memorials in a segment I call I Know Dead People. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna start off with my girl Kirstie Alley, who gave us this absolutely heart-wrenching tribute to Stephen Hawking. You had a good go at it. Thanks for your input. Thanks for your input. Hawking is a world-renowned British theoretical physicist known for his contributions to the fields of cosmology, general relativity, and quantum gravity. Yeah, and Kirstie's acting like Stephen is her old nutritionist who gently suggested cutting back on dairy. Not a chance, bitch, I love sour cream. Also, I'm going absolutely wild crazy cuckoo for this emoji riddle tweet from Cher to Stephen. Dear Stephen, you will remember our luncheon forever. It was amazing. I know we argued about the value of history. Share when time travel is perfected, history will obsolete. Then we get into the latter part of the tweet, which is rhymes and riddles and a potpourri of punctuation. History is like a friend, comma, and new quotations. Hashtags are like chicken emoji scratches to me, shocked face emoji, capitalized dyslexia, RIP deer, cap the D, heart emoji, 
No end quotes. Girl, pass me some of what you're smoking. The street is lit. Gross. Okay. Disgusting. It's too much. It is too much. It's all too much. So I'd like to call for an end to this behavior. Oh, you mean tasteless posts about celebrity deaths or... <laughs> no. Death in general. I'm against it. It should be banned. Oh my god, Betty. No, we can't... <laughs> we talked about this. This is not a political show, okay? Call your Both senators. Sides. Vote them out. Vote who out? The dead? We're here, we're queer, and we'll never die. We're here, we're queer, and we'll never die. We're here, we're queer, and we'll never die. Let's talk movies, because here's the thing, we're millennials. We're young as I'm so young, my skin is like a baby. So we don't have 90 minutes to spare to watch any old full-ass feature film. Heck, we don't even have time to watch a trailer. I don't even have time to let you finish your sentence, Joel. I got most of it out. So let's review the latest streaming releases using a method of criticism we can understand. Our phones, without doing any research. Okay, to be clear, we're gonna review movies based solely on the thumbnail posters of what's streaming online? Okay! Movies! Yeah! Movies! Yeah! Movies! Movies! <laughs> movies. Yeah. Okay, here we have All Right Now with, I believe that's a Colby Smothers. That's her name, right? Can't read it, but what I can see is Miss Colby looking at me with her smothering smolder. And she's got a leather jacket on, baby. That can only mean one thing, baby. This lady stays up late and yells cuss words and tells authority figures to kiss her butts, baby. I'm frankly scared to death of this maniac bitch, oh, baby. thank you. She's got a guitar in the background, swiping away. A rational man looks like Joaquin Phoenix, which I gotta be honest, I'm always surprised when I remember he's alive. Not that I have anything against Joaquin Phoenix. It's just when I think about him, I want him dead. True. And Emma Stone, with her eyes and rasp and whimsy and wonder. I like those qualities in a leading gal. Same. Okay, maybe we'll give this one a... Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, what? dang it. Patty, what? dang it. Well, you see that font? That old-timey, jazzy font? The signature font of an accused child molester? They just about tricked us into watching a Woody Allen joint! Uh, no, thank you. No more pedophile movie for me, okay? I'll have nothing to do with this trash titty movie next. And now we've got My Friend Dahmer. Huh. Now, you know they've already tickled my interest because you know how I love a movie poster with one big head looking this way, and then a little head looking this way, and then another head looking this way. It's very powerful. Plus, they've got pinkish hues and a guy who looks sad and misunderstood. There's a sweetness to this Jeffrey Dahmer, and I like that. Also, his glasses are chic as hell. Who is that lady staring at us underneath? Guessing she's playing his mother. Is oh that... my god, it's Anne Hush! I need this ow, now! Siri, stream this rent, this buy this, put it in a sandwich, and put it in my mouth! You know I have a gymnastics injury! I'm so sorry, I forgot. <laughs> Well, we did it. We sure did done do it. <laughs> we did the dang thing. Yeah, that's the end of our show. And it's the end of your life. Wait, uh, what? Nothing. Thanks for watching on Send. Yeah, bye. Can we... Oh, oh no, I immediately feel bad for doing that.